Uh, thanks for participating via Zoom, especially from many different places, at least three different continents from US, Purdue University. I see some of my students came in uh, uh, Spain, different parts of Spain, and also uh, from Latin America, uh, our uh, Peruvian contingents, especially poets. Um, and also uh, those of you are here, Paul Larson from Baylor University and Carlos, uh, Carlos Howley from uh, uh, North Dakota State and Paco, uh, local, but you know, you're here <laughs> for other reasons too, but we're always good to see you. Our ex-president, uh, Francisco, Dr. Francisco Carice Ferrano de Nebras. No? And then uh, our, uh, I think, uh, discípulos y colegas y, y colaborador, colaboradoras de, de Rebeca San Martín, ¿no? Profesora, muy agradecido. Okay. And then also, uh, I'd like to recognize our guest speakers, Rodrigo Andres, coming from Barcelona. Thank you very much. Very illuminating talk, learned much. I think uh, some of my uh, Eduardo, I uh, was taking furiously your notes. Actually, <laughs> he's using uh, Sara Ahmed in his uh, in his dissertation. So very interesting, and also uh, uh, Serge Gruzinski. Also yesterday, uh, very uh, nice talk about Evralia Pinero. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just don't wanna, don't talk like old man, but you know we Yonsei and I, I we start drinking wine one night and while we were in Madrid and start conceptualizing, you know, she was very interested in uh, digital humanity back then, 2009. And it's like, how can I put people together? So we were at, we were at uh, uh, Confortense and then start talking about putting uh, Spanish scholars and American scholars together and, and promote uh, uh, digital humanities, which was a little bit premature back then. But uh, we did, and that's how we start working with uh, 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 people in competence, especially in history department, Facultad de Historia. And then also we got uh, immediate support from back then the dean of uh, uh, Let uh, Letras, no, the Facultad de Filología, uh, Tamaso Lopez, uh, who was the dean. Now he's a vice rector. Uh, of competence. So that's how we got the support and then we start our first uh, 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 conference at Competence 2010. Since then we held every year, but uh, 2019 has got sick. So we we couldn't help hold it one year. And then 2020, uh, luckily we found Laura and my good friend Anjali for, I have known her for since what, 1991, we, we entered, yeah. went her a graduate program together at Berkeley and 30 years, she's like my sister, she <laughs> yells at me, I yell at her, we <laughs> always angry and then next, day, next time we go just go a beer and then. And all is good. Yeah, all is good, <laughs> always. So uh, Laura and, and Anjali helped us to put this together at uh, UAM and we're very gra grateful. And first we thought we were going to La Corrala and uh, yeah, La Latina, no? uh, but due to COVID, we couldn't do it. So now 2021, we were hesitant, but we pushed it. And I'm really thankful for those who came uh, overcoming um, the fear and the uh, concerns of uh, COVID and you are here. I'm very gra grateful about that. And then, uh, other recognitions, I think uh, Eduardo and uh, Daniel is uh, outside talking to Professor Kang and without uh, Eduardo and Daniel, nothing could have been possible. They were uh, accepting uh, call for papers and proposals and they're putting all the, all the invisible uh, logistics they put together. Uh, thank you very much for your help and, and especially uh, Benji uh Bedoya who put all uh two uh, great sessions of a Peruvian uh poets I mean, was enjoyed very much we're gonna uh, we're gonna post all this in hopefully our uh channel YouTube channel and you can see it it will take some time because uh video editing will take some time and also uh, here comes Daniel and then Professor Kang he uh, we should give him a big uh, uh you know, applause. applause yeah 
because he's the magician behind all three rooms and he took care of all all the zoom uh, logistics sounds like nothing here but okay. you know always uh, technical problems we had and then he's he's uh students uh, who were uh uh overcoming actually six hours difference uh time difference actually those young students that we held up until three o'clock in the morning in the friday night and they could have fun <laughs> but they were they were adjusting all this so thanks very much and uh, i hope uh laura and Anjali, you, you guys can also mention about the local uh the one helpers especially uh, or that mariam as, as my food and others right i mean i really just want to say thank you especially to those of you who are here at the conference because i think that is the whole sort of reason behind organizing conferences so that we can get together we can exchange ideas we can exchange uh these wonderful projects we're working on uh it becomes i think the kind of motivation to continue to study and to continue to read and to continue to think about the various topics that interest us. Um, I want to thank the Autonoma. I want to thank the, especially the Vice Rectorado de Internacionalización uh, for the part that corresponds to me. Laura, you want to thank your department? Yeah, well, um, firstly, thanks all to you for coming to, for coming to the conference, for coming today. I would like to thank Faculty of Philosophy and Letras for letting us hosting this Congress. I would like to thank my department, English department. I would like to thank again Eulalia Piñero and Rodrigo Andres because you know your your knowledge and uh, you know everything that you brought to the Congress. I think it has enriched it a lot. Um, well, I would like to thank um, also Vice Rectorado de Externalización. De externacionalidad, no, de extensión, excuse me, and actividades culturales. It changed the name, so it's hard for me to remember all the changes uh, for the founding. And uh, honestly, I would like to thank, uh, of course, John Su and Song because they have worked very, very hard for this to happen. And uh, it took us a lot of time hours and uh well and finally everything came up very well so congratulations and mainly to anjuli oh thank you <laughs> uh because she worked a lot she already works a lot and she decided to you know to do this and to work even harder to for this to happen so and of of course for sharing this with me so thank you very much and julie thank you. thank you and that's it and i thank everybody here Thank you. Usually, you want to thank medievalistas from the medievalist uh, uh, have joined us, coming from far away, uh, uh, knowing them for many years. And uh, for you, the new disciples of uh, medieval, and uh, I hope that we can continue this uh, track to a uh, go for the next year to Korea. So the conference will be held in Korea and that's the next step that we are gonna talk. Before uh, going to the next uh, conference, I would like to announce about the uh, following Monday and Tuesdays, a workshops that we have online is open to everyone. Uh, we have the luxury to have this virtual a access so a spread the word tell them to join us to learn about these digital humanities workshops that you can learn and see what kind of uh, work has been done or you can do it in more thank you yes thank you the conference our uh conference has two parts so one is uh just the presentations and then second part is uh birds of feather sessions so it's more like workshops i really highly encourage all of you any kind of especially rodrigo uh, professor rodrigo andres if you want to continue with the project and then looking for some collaboration or other people get interested please <laughs> to workshop next year then you can you know promote your 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 uh, research uh, internationally 
So anyone who has your project or research projects as a like beginning stage or mid stage or even the final stage, please use us, our platform of workshop Birds of Feather. Uh, fantastic uh, uh, place to uh, look for collaboration or at least your work known not as a format of just uh, presenting your paper in 20 minutes. The workshops actually you have more <laughs> uh, uh, free, uh, uh, more freedom to use time. So to, you, some holds uh, one hour, two hours, some hold two days, uh, twice. So you, we, we allow that and we highly encourage that. After all, uh, this is an interdisciplinary uh, pro, uh, conference and we you we really promote the, any kind of collaboration like that because instead of uh, trying to you know uh, pub publish uh, like all the different topics in in one journal i think that's almost impossible we can hold like that but at least each of you find your niche and you know the, here literature professor meets uh, historian uh, here Paco and others and uh, maria and also you can meet i mean the association is uh, actually we were going going with a list right association of literature science and technology but then historians jumped in so they're like we got to put the h before l so that's why it become h a h list so please uh you uh, don't forget uh, the workshops and you can just join all in the zoom and uh, just uh, explore a little bit and uh and and uh, the most importantly, uh, uh, the, the, our conference is actually a uh, tr uh, tri-continental <laughs> organization. So we uh, now we did in Spain this year. So next year, we're going to Asia, Busan, uh, South Korea. And then the year after, we're going to Latin America, Lima, Peru. Uh, and then we might come back to uh, Madrid or maybe go to finally US so every year we go actually actually uh, four different uh, one of the four different continents so it's it's fun and I think in US uh, University of Texas Houston they they uh, host us once and in in Spain uh, UAM Competencia twice I think and then uh, uh, University of Las Palmas we did that and Hmm? Tsinghua University. University in China also, and then uh, Portugal. Uh, Portugal, Coimbra, <laughs> I can't keep forgetting, and then University of Cartagena and, and uh, Colombia, and uh, Busan is doing the second time. So I'd like to introduce Professor Yun, Director of Institute of Mediterranean Studies. He's going to show a uh, little bit about uh, uh, Busan University of Foreign Studies, and then uh, uh, next year's preparation and just to remind you whoever likes interest in film studies uh it's uh, next year is a or whoever likes k-pop or k-drama or any korean uh, uh popular culture is a good place to be because that that's the time that we're going to have a busan foreign uh film festival not not directly connected with this uh, conference but uh it will be at the same time in, in Busan. So Busan is the second largest city and we have a professor Yun will show some video about it. 